Hi everyone, welcome back to Budget Like Mom Life. My name is Dominique and this is my channel. I am a mama and a wife. I have one, my husband, my 11 year old son, my Hi. nine year old daughter, and my dog. <laughs> That's my son. He's filming for me right now. And today I have another grocery haul. Four so fish. for the month of June, I have been doing weekly grocery hauls and trying to spend about $100 or less per week on my groceries for my family. So far it's been doing really well. Usually I shop at, for two weeks at a time and spend 300 to $350. So for this month I was trying to keep our grocery budget down. And so let's go ahead and move on. I believe we're in the third week of June to see where we can go, or to see what I spent this week, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, so the first thing I did is I stocked up on some household items. I went to Walgreens and I did some coupon, some budget or couponing. I've been watching a lot of couponing lately and so sometimes I try, sometimes I'm successful at it and sometimes I'm not. So the very first order I did, it was, it was $15.85 and I got the Tide Pods, they were, I got 25 Tide Pods, and that was $12. Then I got this Dove Conditioner, and that was $4.69. And then I got one of the Crest, um, toilet, whoops, sorry, Crest toilet paper now. I got the Crest Toothpaste, and this was $3.80. And the last thing I got was, the razors, and that was $4.25. And then I had $11 worth of coupons, and so that brought my subtotal down to $13.93. With, ta with tax, it was $15.85. From that deal, I received $7 in Walgreens cash, and I also already had $2 in Walgreens cash. So next I went, I went, I was still in the store, so I went back to buy some more things. The second thing, I bought these three head and shoulders. They were on sale for $6. If you buy certain ones, they're 12 ounces, but the other ones, they were 20 ounces, so I went ahead and grabbed these. Um, so I got this two and ones men full and thick, um, a men's Old Spice, and then just a regular dry scalp. They're all 20 ounces, and they were all $6. There was a $3 off two, coupon and a two dollar off one coupon so I went ahead and used that on those the next thing I got were two toothpastes one of this toothpaste was on sale for four dollars and there was a four dollar off coupon so that was free and then there, this toothpaste is four dollars and there's two dollar off coupon so I went ahead and bought that and so the reason I got these was if you spent twenty dollars you got five dollars off your total purchase so or you got five dollars back in Walgreens cash and so I ended up spending $17 on those five items. So after those two transactions, I had a total of $22 in my Walgreens cash. And so I went ahead and used that to go ahead and buy all my paper products. So these Scott paper towels were buy one, get one 50% off and they're $5. So I spent $7.50 of my money on the Scott paper towels. And then as well as the toilet paper, they were buy $5, buy one, get one 50% off. So I got two of those and these are 12 rolls. And so I was looking at some of the other stuff and it was on sale, but these were cheaper per unit, per like paper towel, per square of toilet paper. So I hit one with these. And then the last thing I got was these are $5.49. These bounty paper towels, two of them equals five. So they're nice and thick. And all of these products were absolutely free using my Walgreens cash. So total for about $32, I got all of these products. So now we are set on shampoo uh, for my, my son and my daughter. Um, all, of, all of us use the head and shoulders. Thankfully, I got dandruff from my dad. I don't know where he got it. And I have passed that on to my children. So we all use head and shoulders or um, Sensodyne. Or is it, what is this? The blue one? I don't know can't think of what it's called right now. And then I have a couple of conditioners now stocked up. So we are good on shampoo and conditioner for a while. This stocked us up on paper towels and a little bit on toilet paper for a while. I have some of these already in the, my garage. So we don't need Tide Pods for probably like the next year. Now we are stocked up on toothpaste to get us through for quite some time. And then I don't really need these, but with two children, I figure it doesn't hurt to start stocking up on razors because one day they will need them. 
So that is my $30 uh, Walgreens haul. Next, I went to Aldi and I just went to go buy a couple of things. Um, I also returned $8 worth of apple juice because we just didn't like it. Um, so my total there was $20, but with my return, it was more like $12. So I got six containers of strawberries. These were a dollar each. So exciting. I'm just going to cut these all up and put them in the freezer. So I've been buying a lot of strawberries because they're on super sale right now. So um, what we do is I cut them up when I get them on a really good deal, freeze them, and then we use them throughout the year for smoothies. Uh, I can also make strawberry jam, strawberry jelly, all that fun stuff out of it. I also got three cartons of the lactose free milk. This is what uh, my son mainly drinks and then uh, we use for recipes, but he's the one that drinks milk in our house. And so these are all good until August. So they will last, they won't last that long, but we have those. And the last thing is I had never seen this indulgent strawberries and cream Greek yogurt. So I got that for my daughter to try. And if she doesn't like that, then I will go ahead and eat that myself with some granola. Okay, and the last place that we went was Let's go over here, uh, Sam's Club. So um, I went back to Sam's Club. Sorry, excuse my the seats. My husband is my husband's birthday, and he wanted a pecan pie. And I used to work at Sam's Club, and when I worked there, we always had pecan pie out on the table. But I guess um, that's not the case for the Sam's where I live. So we had to find an alternative. So our alternative was this chocolate cake. So it is a six layer chocolate cake. It was $18.98. It was good. It's not really good cold, but once it gets some moisture back into it, um, it tastes better like the next day. So this was a couple days ago. So we are, uh, after sharing some and eating some, we still have half left. So let's see for how long that lasts. Um, so that was $18.98. My husband requested some Doritos. So these are $4.48 for the big bag of Cool Ranch. And my son and daughter have already eaten some of those. The raspberry strawberries were still on sale. So I got two more. They were $3.57. We've gone through some of them. Um, we were finishing off some other fruit we had. So whatever we don't go through before it goes bad, I will just go ahead and freeze and add to those uh, strawberry bags. We bought the big giant thing of organic baby spinach. This was like $3. I already froze it. I just buy it and put it in the freezer and use it in smoothies. These are $3.57 each. And then our raspberries were still on sale for $1.87. So I went ahead and bought more of those. I just need to process them, put them in the freezer. Um, so my kids like to eat fr fruit straight from the freezer. So they will like these. My husband has been enjoying the frozen raspberries that I put in. The six cartons I had already put in the freezer. So it's a good thing I bought more because I need more for my jam. <laughs> so we went ahead and got that. For $2, I got two heads of iceberg lettuce to do some salads. And then I believe $6, sorry, nor the mess on the table. Um, I got some orange juice because my kids have been requesting smoothies and I like to put orange juice in their smoothies uh, because they don't drink it, but they will drink it in a smoothie. <laughs> so, um, And the last thing I bought was two dozen eggs. They're about $4. Those are already in my fridge. Um, so we don't have those here on the table, but that's what we bought for $50. So all in all, we were able to spend our $100, probably a little bit less than that, uh, for this week. So this is $52. We spent about $32 at Walgreens and $12 at Aldi. And so this will get us through the next week. Uh, we have everything we need to make some meals to go through those. And so I think we're doing pretty good. Um, being able to be stocked up on things really helps. Um, the only thing I have to go back and forth randomly is the, for oat milk. They don't sell that at Aldi or Sam's Club. So I have to go to Stater Brothers. Um, when my husband needs it, he drinks oat milk. It's like $6. I have an empty one right here. <laughs> I buy this jug of oat milk for $6. This is his favorite oat milk. And so whenever we need it, we will go buy that. So that's the only other thing we need to buy if we need it. But so... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had, um, you enjoyed this video. Sorry, my nails are all chipped on that hand. But um, if you have any questions, please go ahead and link those down below. Leave those down below. Make sure to like this video. And if you haven't, please go ahead and subscribe and become one of our family over here with us and join us along on this journey to try and stay in budget for groceries in Southern California. It's very difficult. It's also getting very hot. Uh, it's like in the 80s now, 
and very hot when you go out shopping. So I try to do all my shopping in the morning when possible, if I'm up for it, because I'm not a morning person. <laughs> but um, I wish everything was open till like 10 or 11 o'clock at night because I would do all my shopping at night. Um, but yes, if you have any questions, leave those down below, any comments. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.